champions welcome to terrific tuesday today we're going to be doing division of twos but the best part about this is we're going to be really using just multiplication again okay you just need to use your multiplication skills i put in here the pages and stepping stones so if you want some extra practice and of course um for the division of zeros and ones in here too so if you didn't have a chance to do those pages feel free to do that everything else on here is a review Anything times zero is zero. Anything times one is itself, except for zero times one. Do you remember which one would win? Yes, the zero overrules the one. Here's our times table again. If you need to refer to it, feel free. It's only to the tens, uh, but those are not all the facts in the world. But feel free to use this if you'd like to until you memorize all your facts. All right, so kind of similar to what we did yesterday. We're going to do all of the twos and see how we do. Uh, we're going to be using skip, count, and repeat it because we're not doing division actually. When you do division, you're just using multiplication. So I'll show you. So really you're just going to flip it. You're going to say, okay, zero times what gives me two? Zero. Two times what gives me two? One. Two times what gives me four? Two. Two times what gives me six? Three. Two times what gives me eight? Four. Two times what gives me ten? Five. Two times what gives me twelve? Six. Two times what gives me fourteen? Seven. Two times what gives me sixteen? Eight. Two times what gives me nineteen? Nine. I think you see the pattern. Two times what gives me twenty? Ten. Two times what gives me twenty-two? Eleven. Two times what gives me twenty-four? Twelve. So it's a lot easier to use multiplication and just flip it to solve it. So what do we do here? Instead of doing six divided by two equals blank, we said two times something gives us six. These answers are gonna be the exact same. But since we're getting better at our multiplication, that's what's gonna help us with our division. Okay, all right, we're gonna try some of these problems the same way. This says, the, the answer to the division problem is called a quotient. Quotient is seven. So if we were to flip it around, we're gonna use, we're gonna use the numbers we have. So seven times two gives me what? 14. Is 14 divided by two equal to seven? Yes. Okay. Same thing for the next one. So it's a little bit, so you have 20. Well, you're gonna do 10 times what gives you 20? Two. So is 20 divided by two equal to 10? Yes. So this is zero. Two times what gives me zero? Remember, zero is that magic number. Nothing. Two divided by zero is zero. For the bottom part. So this would be, if we flipped it, it would be 12 times two gives us what? 24. So is 24 divided by two equal to 12? Yes. Ah, this one is just 16 divided by 2. So what times 2 gives me 16? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 8. And the last one. Something divided by 2 gives us 6. So flip it. What's 6 times 2? 12. Is 12 divided by 2 equal to 6? Yes. Do so you see how we use multiplication to help us? But we checked all of our answers once we got our answers, we checked it to make sure it made sense. If it didn't make sense, we'd have to do something different. All right, our word problems today are division divided by two, but we're gonna be using multiply two to help. So let's take a look. Number one, Miss Braun even bought, ooh, B-O-U-G-H-T, sorry about the typo. Two evenly divided boxes of muffins are brought. So 
still, I spelled it wrong, brought two evenly divided boxes of muffins to class. There are 24 muffins all together. How many muffins are in each box? So let's write our equation. 24 divided by two gives me blank. So what this would look like is there's two groups, there's two boxes, there's 24 total. So you would have to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, oops, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. And then you have to count how many are in each. So there should be twelve in each. But that took that's a way to check your work. What we could do instead is flip it. So two times what gives us twenty-four? We'd still get the same answer. Two times twelve gives you twenty-four. Twelve muffins in each box. And here's a picture to go with it. it just takes a little bit longer. Number two. Pookie's Pet Store has 18 tropical fish. They keep two fish in each tank. How many fish tanks are there? <coughs> Excuse me. So 18 divided by 2 gives us what? Let's draw a picture. They keep two fish in each tank. So let's draw a tank. That's one tank and there's two fish. Another tank and there's two fish. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18. Stop. How many did we draw? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Or, can you think of the multiplication? 2 times what gives us 18? Guess what the answer still would be? 9. And that would have been way faster than drawing the picture, but the picture matches. Alright, let's go to number 3. Sally divided her 10 spools of thread evenly into two boxes. How many spools did she put in each box? So she has two boxes. She's evenly putting 10. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So count how many are in each. You should have 5 in each. What would the division problem be? 10 divided by 2 equals blank, which we just figured out is 5. Or we could 2 times what gives us 10, which would still give us the magic number 5. Number 4. Ivan scooped 6 scoops of ice cream evenly onto 2 cones. How many scoops of ice cream are on each cone? So, here are my 2 cones. You notice I just draw boxes. And the total is 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 divided by 2 equals blank, or 2 times blank equals 6. What's my answer? 3. Last one. Chris has a dozen cactus plants. He keeps his plants in even pairs. How many cactus plants are in each row? Wait a minute, I don't see any numbers in this problem. Ah, that's because words can mean numbers. Do you know how much a dozen is? 12. Remember we talked about the word pairs? 2. So sometimes words mean numbers. So 12 divided by 2 equals blank, or 2 times blank equals 12. Let's draw our picture. Here are pairs. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. How many boxes did I draw? Six. So hopefully you're seeing which way is faster. I would love if you wanted to practice using a picture, but really we want to be able to do the flip-flop to get the correct answer. All right, just like yesterday, I'd like you to time yourself for a minute, see how many you get correct. If you'd like to just write down the answer, um, that would be great. Or call them out if somebody's there reading it to you. You can call it out and they can grade it for you. Um, so let me show you the rest of the problems, and you can try it as many times as you'd like. Let me give you a hint what I would do. Again, is with multiplication, so I'm going to do the first row for you. I would do 2 times what gives me 2, 1. 2 times what gives me 6, 3. 
2 times what gives me 4? 2. 2 times what gives me 18? 9. Okay, so that's how you're going to do the division. So I already did the first row for you. Here's all of them, so you can go ahead and pause at any time so you can um, try your best, see how many you get in a minute. And then when you finish, these are the word problems I'd like you to do. You do not have to write them down, um, but I would definitely you need to use an equation. You need to use multiplication to find your answer. And if you'd like to draw a picture, that would be great to prove your answer. So I would take a look, pause here. Um, I'll send your parents this on Dojo as well, and we'll go over it. Thanks, champion. See you tomorrow.